you go. Give us an example. Okay, example. So this example says, find extreme values. Find extreme values, maximum, minimum. A function of f of x and y equals to x squared plus two y squared, y squared on the circle on the circle x squared plus y squared equals to one there you go so here we have a function well this function as you remember that the graph is actually you're going to have a minimum for this function if you take a look at the graph and this is a circle. It means that you're trying to cut this function using this fixed function, this circle, and find the optimum value for this function. What is it maximum and what is the minimum value for the function over this circle? Okay. And so since they have two functions, two functions. One of them is f of x and y equals to x squared plus 2y squared. And the other one is a fixed function g of x and y equals to x squared plus y squared minus 1. We cannot change this function. It's This function is a fixed function. We can apply Lagrange multipliers. Well, so far it's not that bad. We know that to apply the method of Lagrange multiplier, we need to find the gradient of f and also the gradient of g, set them equal to each other because at the optimal value for f, the gradient of f and the gradient of g are parallel to each other. So let us find the gradient of f and the gradient of g and set up gradient of f equals to lambda gradient of g. It means that we need to find the values that these two vectors, these are vectors, are parallel to each other. So the gradient of f, gradient of f is equal to we have a vector 2x, this is f of x, comma, f of y, which is equal to 2x, comma, 4y. Well, the gradient of g is equal to g of x, comma, g of y, which is equal to, well, it's not that hard, 2x, comma, 2y. Gradient of f must be equal to lambda gradient of g. What's the meaning of that? It means that 2x comma 4y is equal to lambda 2x comma 2y. The rest is algebra. Now use algebra. Okay, there we go. So here you have 2x comma 4y equals to 2 lambda x comma 2 lambda y. So the first components must be equal to each other. The second components must be equal to each other. It means that we have these two equations. 2x 
equals to two lambda x and four y is equal to two lambda y. Okay, let's write them down here. We can analyze them with more space. Two x, two lambda x and four y to lambda. So from the first equation, if lambda is equal to one, two x is equal to two x. So let's call this one. Let's call this two. From one, lambda is equal to one. From one, you get also x equal to zero. Also, x equal to zero is x. Why is that? Zero times two is zero. Zero times two lambda is just a number. It's a multiplier number. Zero times two lambda is also zero. Zero and zero is equal to zero. Since zero is equal to zero. What about the second one? So if lambda is equal to one in the first equation, Lambda cannot be one in the second equation. Why is that? We get four y equals to two y, and the only option that we have is lambda of one y equal to zero. So from two, y is equal to zero, it's acceptable since zero is equal to zero. Okay, do we have any other piece of information to use? Take a look at your example, take a look at definitions of these two functions. Remember that this guy, it can take on different values and it, it gives you a Z value, which is related to that X and Y. But from this circle equation, if you plug in something for X, you can evaluate Y. If you plug in something for Y, you can evaluate your X. So let's erase this, erase this one and now, from x squared plus y squared, x squared plus y squared equals to one. If x is equal to zero, I get y squared equals to one, or y is plus minus one. If I plug in y equal to zero into x squared plus y squared equals to one, then y squared is zero, so we get x squared equals to one, x is plus minus one. So how many points do we get? X is zero, Y is plus minus one. Y is zero, X is plus minus one. So the possible points, zero, one, zero, negative one, one and zero, negative one, 
And we found all critical values that help us to find the optimal value for f. If I plug in zero and one into the function, my z is zero and one, my z is two. If I plug in zero and negative one, my z is still two. If I plug in one and zero, my z is one. So it takes on its maximum value, which is two. It takes on its minimal value, which is one. Well, let's take a look at another example. Find extreme values of function f 